Good morning, Texas. If you hear a boom, boom, mm -hmm. that's the space shuttle. That's, yeah, uh, as they say that. out at Edwards Air Force Base, that's the sound of freedom. That's the sound of freedom. You got Sonic it. Sonic booms all across the country. Take a look outside. You should see what looks like a streaking meteor. It's actually the Space Shuttle Columbia coming back. We're watching it landing about 15 minutes away. Good morning to you. I'm Miles O'Brien. It is now. Columbia out of communications at present uh, with Mission Control as it continues its uh, course toward Florida. 14 minutes to touchdown for Columbia at the Kennedy Space Center. Flight controllers are continuing to stand by to regain communications with the spacecraft. Columbia, Houston, com check. Columbia, Houston, UHF, com check. Capcom, uh, Charlie Hobart calling uh, Columbia on UHF frequency as it approaches uh, the Merritt Island tracking station range in Florida. Communications uh, with Columbia were lost at about 8 a.m. Central Time, about uh, 10, 10 minutes ago. All right, um, got a little problem on the Space Shuttle Columbia. It has been out of communication now for the past uh, 12 minutes. Uh, let's take a look at a live picture of Mission Control in Houston. Uh, as we've been telling you all this morning, it is on its way uh, in for a landing, and uh, flight uh, controllers there in Houston are busy going through their no-com procedures, in other words, lack of communication from the shuttle. They've been trying to raise the uh, Space Shuttle Columbia for quite some time now. Of course, this harkens back to the early days of the space program. If you recall, there was always a radio blackout when the uh, spacecraft uh, came in and was surrounded by uh, the plasma, uh, the superheated air all around it, uh, causing those long radio blackouts. Um, and at this juncture, uh, we, I cannot tell you honestly the significance of it, except to tell you that uh, the Space Shuttle Columbia uh, was due for a landing right about now. We are watching this. And, uh, seven-person crew. Contingency procedures in effect in uh, mission control require all operators to uh, conserve all their data and uh, log books and notes that have been taken that uh, being instructed by Flight Director Leroy Kane for controllers to begin uh, following those steps and secure all information. All right, this is, uh, this is very ominous uh, type of talk coming from James Hartfield, the public affairs officer there in Houston. Uh, almost precisely the same language we heard subsequent to the Challenger explosion 17 years ago this past week. Yeah. Uh, Norm, stay on the line, please, if you will. Um, and by the way, have you, are you near CNN? Have you, are you seeing these pictures yet? Norm, are you still there? I'm here, Miles. I'm watching it on TV. Okay, what does that tell you when you see that? Well, it's breaking up. My fellow Americans, this day has brought terrible news and great sadness to our country. At 9 o'clock this morning, Mission Control in Houston lost contact with our space shuttle Columbia. A short time later, debris was seen falling from the skies above Texas. The Columbia is lost. There are no survivors. On board was a crew of seven, Colonel Rick Husband, Lieutenant Colonel Michael Anderson, Commander Laurel Clark, Captain David Brown, Commander William McCool, Dr. Kulpna Shavla, and Ilan Ramon, a colonel in the Israeli Air Force. The crew of the shuttle Columbia did not return safely to Earth, yet we can pray that all are safely home. May God bless the grieving families and may God, may God continue to bless America. Yes, from Central Texas. Susie, go ahead. Yes, hi. I'm in Huntington, Texas, All right. Angelina County. All right. Well, tell me what you saw and what you heard. Uh, approximately 9 o'clock this morning, we heard a tremendous um, rumbling sound and um, feels that there's some rubber burning in our pasture, and he just went to go check. Um, listening to the scanner, we understand that all in Moffitt and San Augustine County, Nacogdoches, 
and um, Angelina County that there's debris. Also on the scanner, probably at about 9.15 before, well, right before CNN was announcing what, in fact, it was, um, the scanners were saying for the sheriff to go ahead and if you, that it could have been the space shuttle. If you found anything, it was federal to seal it off, not let anybody touch it, don't contaminate it, don't get near it. Um, where are we headed now? All right, here we go. This is a live picture from our affiliate KDFW out of Dallas-Fort Worth. You're looking at a piece of debris, Space Shuttle Columbia. We're, we're told the debris field extends 120 miles or so. When you're traveling that fast, that high, uh, that's to be expected. Of course, uh, some pieces lighter than others. Some pieces have aerodynamic qualities. They'll flutter down. Others will uh, travel down very quickly. Um, very, you know, it's impossible to make out what that is. 